Hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited for this video because I've actually been trying to plan this for the past two weeks and it's finally here. I'm finally filming this. So I thought of doing another sort of dedicated full face of whatever brand makeup tutorial and I was trying to think of a brand and I did a Google trend and I actually found out that e.l.f. makeup is like highly searched and people really want to see makeup tutorials using e.l.f. products. So I was like, Let's do that. But I did place an order. I bought a bunch of stuff from Ulta. It was so affordable. I bought a ton of stuff, full face, and then some options. And I think I spent about $65. So that's pretty affordable for like a full face, obviously. The last full face video I did was with Maybelline and you guys seem to really, really love it. I'll link that below if you guys haven't seen that one, but this is when I was doing drugstore week and that was one of the videos, which by the way, I've kind of been missing my drugstore week videos. I don't know if you guys want to see more, let me know. It's a lot of work, but I will do it if you want to see it. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, there are a ton of e.l.f. products in front of me right now. I did this look using all of it. So without further ado, let's get started. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell if you haven't already so that you are notified when I do upload. Okay, let's get into it. All right, we're gonna start with my foundation. This was probably the hardest part for me because I just could not figure out the colors. They were so off on the website. I got two just cause again, I was so confused and even just looking at them, they both look really dark and I thought I was getting one that was like lighter, one that was darker so I could mix it together. By the way, this is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. They do have quite a few foundations, but this was the one that kind of spoke to me. I would say shake it really well before using it because first I didn't shake it and there was a lot of like oils and stuff that came out with it. I was actually able to order two brushes. They didn't have that many brush options so I just stuck with what I could find. So I'm actually gonna use their buffing sort of foundation brush. It's just called foundation blurring brush and I'm just gonna try, oh, okay so that's light, okay. So it looks like this is more my shade and this is in the shade Cashew. It's got more of an olive undertone. So let me just wipe all this off because I have so much makeup on the back of my hand. I'll just blend it all together. It has a scent to it. My God be with me and I hope that I don't break out, but I will keep you posted on Instagram if I break out or not. The reason why I didn't want to try their primer is because I do have acne prone skin as you can tell, so I really didn't want to like break out. So I have my usual sort of foundation primer, all that stuff underneath it. It smells really, really good, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so far, not the best start. I feel like the foundation is too thick for my taste and it's a little bit sticky. It's got like that thick, sticky consistency. It does provide a good amount of coverage and on the skin, as you can see, it looks pretty like dewy. It doesn't look bad on the skin, but just the application process and the texture, I wasn't obsessed with. It doesn't blend like seamlessly into your skin and just makes it look and feel really amazing, I guess, but Overall, it looks fine. It's just like the application process was a little kind of like thick and heavy, but let's just keep going and see how it looks. So I got two concealers, cause again, I was a little confused. The colors were a little hard to kind of navigate. One of them is a 16 hour cameo concealer and the other one is an HD lifting concealer. So I'm gonna use this one cause it is lighter and I'm gonna use this under my eyes. And then I'm gonna use this other one kind of to conceal blemishes and stuff just because this is a lot darker. And I'm still gonna use that same brush to blend. So I'm just using a damp beauty blender to blend this in place. It's blending beautifully with the Beauty Blender and the color is very nice. It's very nice and brightening, which I like. By the way, my shade is Medium Sand. I'm gonna add just a little bit more right there. I feel like I still need a little bit of coverage here, you know? I don't think that I'm happy with that. So let's just add a little more foundation. The color is actually really nice. I think that's better. I feel like it covered a lot more. So the next thing I'm gonna use is this setting powder that I got. This is just for the under eyes. So I'm just gonna dip my beauty blender and bake my under eyes. This is definitely not a baking powder, so I don't know why I'm doing this. 
Okay, so the brightening powder is actually pretty nice. I probably wouldn't bake with it like I just did. I would just use like a fluffy brush and just kind of go over it. I was trying to find a cream bronzer, but I couldn't find it, at least not on Ulta's site, but I found this palette, which has quite a few colors, and I thought, you know what, let me get this, because I'm sure one of these colors will work as my contour shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the darkest shade right over here. I know it looks pretty dark, and I'll also use the brush that I got. This is in number 105. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the darkest shade, like I said, but I'm also gonna mix this with the lightest shade right here, and I'm just gonna carve my cheekbones with this. I love this brush. I like the size of it a lot. Okay, this is looking a little dirty, so let's not use the dark shade on this side and see how that works. Okay, these are super pigmented. For medium skin tone, I would definitely avoid that. Just stick to the light shade. I guess I wasn't expecting so much pigment from it, but it is very pigmented, so I think the light shade will do just fine. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my brush and blend this a little bit more. I always like to do this. It just looks more like real skin. I'm gonna move on to my blush. I actually got two different types of blushes because I was like so confused. I didn't know if I wanted cream or powder. So I got this cream um, palette, which is kind of nice, but because I'm working with powders already, I'm just gonna stick to that. I also got this powder blush. This is in Mellow Mauve. It's just a really pretty mauve shade. For this, I'm actually gonna switch my blush brush. I'm gonna use something like more fluffy like this. This is not for mouth. I'm just gonna smile and pop it on the apples of the cheek. I've been staring at this box for a week and I finally got around to filming this video. It took forever. But last week was so busy because I was pretty much in the lab in and out all week um, developing something cool and special. Just wait for it. So yeah, I wasn't able to film this, but finally I got around to it and I'm so excited because I know that you guys are gonna love it. Ever since I did drugstore week, everyone just keeps asking for more drugstore videos. So I'm trying to do more of that this year. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so finishing off the face with the highlighter that I picked up. This is in Shimmer Highlighting Powder. That's the name of it. And it's kind of a lighter highlighter shade. I'm gonna use like a smaller brush for this. And just pop, whoa. Okay, that's, that's pretty pigmented. Wasn't expecting that, but it is very pigmented. So go easy. Start small. I do feel like I need to set my face. Everything is looking a little dry and I feel like it needs to all melt together. So um, I didn't pick up a setting spray, I didn't think of that. So I'm just gonna use a different one. Ooh, it's so refreshing. Woke me up. All right, I zoomed you guys in so we can see a closer look when I do the eyes. I'm gonna use my brow pencil. This pencil I've used before. I actually discovered it when I was doing Drugstore Week. One of my lovely subscribers recommended it. This is the e.l.f. brow pencil in taupe, I believe. It's double-ended and it is so good. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows with this. I feel like they changed something about it though. I kind of like the applicator a little bit better this time around. It like glides right on. I also picked up a clear gel to sort of uh, set everything in place. So let me just try that. I think this might be defected or something. Yeah, it might be defected. That's, that's a lot of, okay. <gasps> that's a lot of product. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna use the eyelash part because this isn't working. It's a little wet. My thoughts on the brow pencil, it's phenomenal. It's it's actually gotten better than what it was. I picked up a new one and I feel like it's creamier. It's just wonderful. I would highly recommend that. This one, I mean, I don't know if I should judge it because mine was defected. Even the eyelash section of it wasn't like that impressive. It's okay. I don't love this. I probably wouldn't recommend this one. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the eyes and I'm gonna use this eyeshadow palette that I picked up. The colors just look stunning. And I actually ended up getting this for free because they were having this promotion. If you spent $20, you would, you would get this for free. So I ended up getting it for free, which was nice. I am going to start with this shade right here. And I'm just gonna apply this on my crease, blend it really well. You can use it as a transition shade or to sort of build it up, but that's what I'm using it as. So I'm just gonna keep building. I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade right over here. And I'm just gonna apply this on the outer corners to build. I want this to be a nice little smoky eye. It's definitely buildable. As you can see, I'm just keep layering it and layering it. 
you have to have a light hand because as you can see, it deposits the color in one area and when you start to blend it, if you put too much pressure, it kind of creates that sort of cut crease effect, I wanna say, or maybe it just settles into the crease, I don't know. Okay, I am going to use this shade right over here. I just wanna add a little more color, so I'm just gonna apply this all over my lid and work it up. It's very pigmented, it's got a nice color payoff. I'm gonna switch my brush and pick up the first color. It's like a shimmery yellow shade. And I'm gonna try to highlight with this, just on the inner corners and a little bit on the brow bone. So then I'm gonna pick up that shade again and I'm gonna apply this on my bottom lash line. I'm just gonna smoke out the bottom lash line with this. And then I'm gonna pick up the darkest shade in the palette and deepen the outer corners a little. I'm just gonna blend everything with a clean, fluffy brush. Y'all know I hate harsh edges, so I always like to just blend it. I'm gonna move on to the eyeliner. I picked up this waterproof gel liner and it's black, so let's see how it goes. Okay, this is gliding on really nicely. I'm so impressed. It's pretty dark. And I'm also gonna apply a little bit of this on the top lash line and wing it out. I'm not fully happy with how the eyes are looking. Like I feel like I'm blending it and blending it, but there's still some patchiness. But honestly, for the price, I feel like it's totally fine. <laughs> it's totally normal. This little hole right here is driving me nuts. Yeah, I feel like a little more blush to tie all of this nicely together. I was able to find a lash curler by e.l.f. So I was like, gotta pick this up because lash curlers for me are so hard to find. I have a couple favorites, but yeah, it's really hard to find a good one. So let's give this one a shot. Okay, it's very stiff. And I feel like I didn't do anything. Okay, this, this doesn't do anything. Nope, it does not work. So let's try the mascara now. Um, I love the packaging. I like that it's like super slick, very travel friendly. It's black. I think it said it's volumizing. Yes, it says it's volum volumizing, which is what I like. So let's give it a go. I don't think this is volumizing and I love drugstore mascaras, like some of my favorites are from the drugstore. So it's not because of that. I just, I don't know what it is. I don't love the brush, I think, and I don't really love the formula either. So this is not my favorite either. This is more of like an everyday, very light layer of mascara. If you're trying to do like a no makeup makeup look, I think this would be a great one because it's so subtle. So yeah, I wasn't super impressed with this. So I really wanted to pick up some e.l.f. lashes, but I looked and looked and looked and a lot of them looked a little, wow, I said looked like 4,000 times. A lot of them looked very heavy, like it had a really thick band, that's not my vibe. I like a really thin band, I like really natural looking lashes. Not that this is gonna be natural, but I wanna try these Ardell ones, forgive me, this is not e.l.f., but like I said, I just knew for sure I wouldn't be able to wear the e.l.f. ones just from what I could see. But I feel like, yeah, this just totally completes the look. With a smoky eye like this, I love these lashes. These are the Ardell 600s. So I'm just gonna pop these on real fast, BRB. All right, I feel like the lashes definitely completes the eye look, I love it. We're gonna move on to the lips and I have two lip options, I couldn't decide, so I was like, let me just get both. And I'm actually gonna try both just because I wanna test it and tell you guys my thoughts. But first, I'm gonna apply the lip liner that I got, it's called dark brown and it's kind of cool because you get a liner on one side and then you also get a little brush on the other side. So let's give it a go. It smells really funky. Mm, mm, mm. I don't like the smell. Okay, I'm gonna try the lipstick first. This is in the shade Touch of Nude. This is what it looks like. It's a really cool toned nude, which looks really cool and interesting. Oh, it's pretty, kind of sheer, but it's definitely pretty. No scent, that's good. 
I think I overdrew my lips a little too much. Like I went a little crazy. Let's fix that. Okay, so this is lip option number one. I do like it. I like that it's sheer. I like that it's cool toned. It's kind of unique for a nude to be cool toned. So I like it. But yeah, let's try this one. It's a liquid lip in the shade Praline. Pra pra praline? Is that how you say it? I don't know. It's a matte liquid lip. So I'm gonna take this off and put the matte liquid lipstick on. I can't really smell anything. It's nothing unpleasant, so it's good. So this is the liquid lip. I actually like the liquid lip a little more because it's a little more dramatic. It goes really well with the eyes. So if you're trying to do something more dramatic, I like this one. If you're trying to do something a little more subtle, the other one's better. I like that this is making my teeth look whiter. I like it. So here's a little close up of the way the makeup looks. I think overall it turned out really good. But I'll give you guys my thoughts on every single product, what I recommend, what I would skip on. The foundation, I don't recommend it if you have really like dry skin. It's pretty dry and pretty sort of thick. If you have really oily skin and you like a really matte finish, I think you would like it. Overall, it doesn't look bad. The blending process wasn't my favorite. I personally have dry skin. I also have acne prone skin, so I don't know if I'll use it again because I do like my foundation to be really dewy. I didn't even have to set this and it still looks really, really matte. So again, I don't, it's not that I don't recommend it. It's just depends on your skin tone. If you have oily skin and you're looking for an affordable foundation to try, I would definitely try this. I think it's a great one for oily skin. The powder, I think it was good. It's like a more of a brightening powder. Obviously it's not like a setting powder. So if you're looking for a brightening powder, not bad. It's, it does the job. So it's fine. It still looks pretty bright under my eyes. So that's good. I was really impressed with the concealer. I feel like if you're looking for something full coverage, I would recommend this one. It's a great one. It did brighten my under eyes and it also concealed. So I liked it and it did blend beautifully. This other concealer, the lifting concealer, I wasn't impressed with. I know it's supposed to be for your under eyes. It's a little gray. I was a little confused with the color choice here. So I would skip on this one. It wasn't my favorite. So the bronzer palette was actually a pretty good one. It is is a very matte and sort of pigmented powdery formula, which means that you have to have a really light hand and you have to use very fluffy brushes in order to get the product and blend it. I feel like that's where I was kind of having trouble. I feel like it was looking a little muddy. Yeah, I mean, I recommend it. I would just say use the appropriate brush for it. The highlighter, I don't know. When I first applied it, I liked it, but I feel like it's too subtle and too powdery. So I don't know if I recommend it. There are amazing drugstore highlighters out there. This is like just okay for me. I didn't love it. The blush is actually not bad. It is buildable. You do have to apply quite a lot. I feel like I had to put at least like three layers to get this color payoff. So it's not as pigmented as like the rest of the products, but it is a pretty blush. I sometimes like that they're not too pigmented because then you can just build Build it up. So I think that the blush is totally worth it. The eyeshadow palette, I think for the price, I would say go for it. I'm really bougie when it comes to my eyeshadow palettes. Like I just, I like the shimmers to be a little more shimmery, which obviously these shades were supposed to be shimmery, this and like the highlight shade, but it's just not that shimmery. As you can see, it's got a nice like sheen to it, but it's, I wouldn't call it like shimmery. The mattes were good. They blend okay. I feel like sometimes I felt like they were kind of bunching in one area specifically around the crease area so I don't know if it's got like too much wax or if it's like pressed too hard for my taste but I don't know I guess if I was to rate it I would rate it like a six out of ten if you're looking for an affordable eyeshadow palette because again I love a lot of drugstore eyeshadow palettes this is good but not like amazing I'm gonna leave this one up to you I would rate it like I said six or seven out of ten ten so it's not like terrible of course I just wish it blended a little bit better but I would love to know your thoughts on the eyeshadow palette because I'm so confused. I don't know if I want to like fully recommend it or not. Since you saw me blending and sort of like work with it, let me know what your thoughts are if you would pick it up. The eyebrow pencil, oh my God, I feel like everyone needs this in their lives. Like it's so affordable and so amazing, very pigmented, a lot better than a lot of the like high-end products out there. So I recommend the pencil. I would skip on the brow gel and the like clear mascara thing they have going on. First of all, it was defective. Second of all, even this part that wasn't affected, it just was like weird. Like it's leaving my brows looking a little gray almost. Like, I don't know. I would definitely skip that one. This 
no bueno, this doesn't work. The lip liner, as much as I like the color, I'm not gonna recommend this. It smells really, really bad. Like it just smells like chemicals. I'm never gonna use this again. Unfortunately, it's a no-go for me. The lip products I thought were pretty cool. The lipstick is very nice. It's sheer, it's comfortable. It doesn't smell weird. So I recommend the lipstick. I recommend the liquid lip. It looks beautiful on. It doesn't look super drying on the lips. So yeah, I would recommend the liquid lips too. I think it's not bad. The color is beautiful. It glides right on. So yeah, the lip products are pretty awesome. So I would recommend those. The liner I would recommend. I think it's a really good liner. It's pigmented, does the job, glides on. So I would definitely recommend the liner. The brushes are okay. I thought that the foundation brush was much better than the blush brush. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like kind of like weird hair sticking out. Oh, there you go. You can see it there. You see like, you see the brush like has like weird, I don't know. The quality is not that great. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there's another brand I should try, whether that's drugstore or not. I kind of like doing these dedicated videos because you get to try a bunch of products from the same brand. Let me know your thoughts and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that you are notified when I upload and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye and moisturizers and I don't even know Ugh. so wait what let's just keep going and see how this like sort of wears throughout the day wait what no we're not doing a wear test bronzer blah, blah, blah. line elf I'm gonna try to all